All right, today I'm going to cover some examples from exercise 4.3, just two examples actually, before um, I actually give you the work on class kick. All right, now, the first question I'm going to cover is on page 9, and they can be found on page 116 of your 2A textbook. Okay, for this we have the ratio of the length of breadth of a rectangular photo frame is 3 to 2, okay, given the area. So now, what I can say is this, for example, if I let, okay, we need some variables, so I say, let the length be x. Would it be a good idea if I say, let the breadth be y? Okay, this is actually not a good idea. Why? If we do this, we are introducing another variable. So we have x and we have y as well. So in this case, what we can actually do here is this. If we know the length is x and we know that the ratio of the length to breadth is uh, 3 is to 2, then I will know that, okay, maybe we pause for a while. Can you write down what the breadth will be in terms of x? Yep, the breadth is two third x cm okay so now that we know that we know that the area is 864 cm square so now what i'll do here is this let me form an equation what do we have for area area is length times breadth is equal to 864 cm square made a small error there 864 cm square so what i'll get is 2 third x squared is equals to 864. Okay, you multiply by 3, divide by 2 on both sides. So I'll get x squared equals to 3 times 864 over 2. x squared is equals to 1296. And how do you get rid of square? That's right, we square it both sides of the equation. We can either get x equals to 16, uh, not 16, sorry. A x is equals to 36 or negative 36 which we of course will reject because lengths cannot be negative hence if I just write in my final statement there the length is 36 cm and the final question I'll cover for this portion is question 15 Question 15 shows a cuboid all right, of dimensions x by 2x by 7. The surface area of the cuboid is 270. Find the value of x. Okay, not too difficult a question. So we know from primary, okay, the surface area is 270. So now, just think how many surfaces are there. Okay, so now if we just think about it, there are six surfaces. Okay, so one surface, the dimension is x by 7 this surface here which is here and here another surface on the top the dimensions are x by 2x so it's on the top and on the bottom as well finally we have the surface that has dimension 2x by 7 which is here and here as well so what we do now here is this the surface area so i will say x by 2x this one i have multiplied by 2 y2 is at 2 of the surfaces then we also have 7 by x x times 7 and there are two of these surfaces and also the last one i have is uh, x by 2x 7x and 7 by 2x okay so i have a 7 by 2x there are two of these surfaces and it is given that my total surface area is 270 cm square so if i were to simplify all of this i'll get 4x square plus 14x plus 1428x equals to 270 Okay, then if I start to simplify, I have 4x squared plus 42x minus 270 is equals to 0. I know you'll be tempted to start to whip out the frame to try to factorize this, but let's see if there's a way for us to simplify everything. So if I look, all of these are 
divisible by the number 2. So if I divide by 2, all right, what I'll get is something simpler to solve. 2x squared plus 21x minus 135 is equal to 0. Uh, if my frame somewhere at the side here, so I will not uh, show you the frame, but the factorization will give me 2x minus 9, x plus 15 is equal to 0. Hence, x is equal to 4.5 or x is equal to negative 15. Once again, lengths cannot be negative, so we will reject the negative 15. So therefore, my x is 4.5 cm. Okay, finally, let's uh, just move on to the volume. Okay, I have actually run out of space, so I'll just work on the portion down here. So, for part D, the volume is equal to this, is length times breadth times height. And we know that the x value is equal to 4.5. So, if we put that in, we have 4.5 times 9 times 7 so what we have here is 283.5 cm squared and that concludes my examples for chapter 4.3